tastes like wasted opportunity. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of 10 Years Old Today, the show where I talk about movies that are turning 10 years old and I take you down a little trip down Nostalgia Avenue. Today's episode is about Jumper, a movie that was released on February 14th, 2008. It was based on a 1992 novel by Stephen Gold. The film was directed by acclaimed director Doug Lehman. It was written by Simon Kenberg, Jim Uvels, and David S. Goyer. This freaking hack. This is when I really started to see how much of a shitty writer David S. Goyer was. It's pretty interesting that Simon Kinberg, basically the man who is really behind the writing for the X-Men movies is a part of this. But Goyer, Jumper is a wasted opportunity of an extremely interesting concept. Everyone always has that conversation about what superhero power would they want to have, whether it be invisibility, incredible strength, the ability to fly, this movie is the one that really convinced me that the one to have is teleporting. Especially from the trailers. The trailers were so intriguing. The idea of being able to literally go anywhere, have unlimited wealth, but then also be hunted down for the power that you inherently have. And admittedly, throughout the film, the concept of teleporting is constantly used in an intriguing and very cool way. The effects in this movie are pretty darn good. If not, they actually still stand up to today. However, there's one really big issue that kind of angers me. In the trailer that was first released for this movie, they show that every time Hayden Christensen was going to do a jump, it would always make this noise. Now, admittedly, hearing that noise every time would have been super annoying, but in super intense parts, it kind of would have been cool, instead all it does is it just makes this noise. Now I'm not saying that hearing the all the time would have been cool, but it just kind of ruined it for me. This was my first interaction of a trailer giving you a false impression of a movie as well, so there's a lot of nostalgic feelers to this movie. My friends thought it was alright, but I just saw through all the holes in this movie. One of them being Hayden Christensen's absolutely horrible acting through this movie. He really doesn't do a good job. He's still kind of on the Hayden Christensen Anakin Skywalker train, even though this movie was a few years later after Revenge of the Sith. But you still just can't can't stand his whining throughout this movie. Even though you actually care for his character at the beginning when he's a child, when he falls into the water and he teleports into a library to save his life. The fact that Michael Rooker is his abusive father. You get this attachment to him and when you see him grown up when he's able to go anywhere, he goes to London just for the hell of it and then he spends the rest of the day in Cairo. It's a cool idea. Even the fight scenes in this movie are really well choreographed, especially when he finds out that Jamie Bell is another teleporter, and they have a fight later on in the movie, and they're jumping from scene place to place, scene to scene. At one point they go to the Arctic, then to Chechnya, and they go to Paris, and all these other places. I even remember how dope it was when Samuel Jackson turns around, and a double-decker bus from London is flying at him in the dunes of Egypt. All of that sounded really cool, but the problem was you didn't give a shit about any of these characters. Hayden Christensen has this very platonic relationship with Rachel Bosen, which is interesting considering they are, if I'm correct, married now. But everything that happens in this movie is just so rudimentary, so boring at times, and also just so ridiculous. At one point, Jamie Bell is caught in this collapsed tower, this power tower, and he's just having this casual conversation with Hayden Christensen. Now I know that the jumpers have an ability to kind of adverse over electricity, but that's fucking ridiculous. He's getting over a hundred thousand volts and he's just, he should be vaporized. And they just, I don't know, it's just David S. Goyer shit ass writing written all over it. Which sucks because Doug Lehman is a good director. And you can see that he does do good directing to this movie. However, the movie is just held back by the performance of the lead, Hayden Christensen, as well as just the shitty writing by David S. Goyer. Samuel L. Jackson's kind of cool. There is an interesting idea about what are consequences when you have such powers, but they never really delve into it. They're supposed to be, oh, war but you only ever really see 
freaking Jamie Bell and Hayden Christensen fighting dudes with these weird grapple gun things. Another thing that this movie actually introduced me to was that weird aqua and yellow warming color ratio thing that's used on posters to kind of drag people into it. It's been used for movies like I Am Number 4, it was used for Mad Max. It's just this kind of color template that is the most appealing to people's eyes and this was the first time I ever saw it in a movie trailer or a movie poster. There was also a really crappy ass game that was released with it. I never played it. I wasn't that desperate for achievements, but I do know some people who played it. It was apparently an easy thousand, but they said it was a piece of garbage. Either way, Jumper is a wasted opportunity that was really hindered by Hayden Christensen, David S. Goyer's shit-tastic writing, and just some really stupid garbage thrown into this movie. It has an incredibly in-depth concept and of idea that I wish had it been handled by different people might have been much more of an interesting idea. Hell, this could have been a really cool TV show or miniseries. It's actually spawned a lot of fan films and a lot of people who are getting into film and testing After Effects and whatnot to test it out themselves. So this movie does have a placeholder for reasons that are not really the movie's main reason the movie was supposed to be successful. In turn, it actually just gave a lot of other people ideas to try and do their own little short jumper movies. So in the end, Jumper is a piece of garbage, but it's a memorable piece of garbage because of its interesting concept and just really showing that teleportation is a pretty cool power to have. Anyways guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of 10 Years Old Today. Let me know what you guys think of Jumper. Did you like this movie? Did you play the game? What were your thoughts about it? If you liked this video, leave a like down below, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways, until the next episode, I'll see you guys later.